Hey what's up you guys, welcome back to my channel, if you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Lydia and if you are new here make sure you hit the subscribe button, join the growing family, turn notifications on and while you're down then give me a thumbs up because it really does help me out. Today I'm going to be talking about what I used to have in a bag ready to go to hospital in case of emergency. So when I was living alone in Wembley, Kensington, Kingston, when I was in them areas, I didn't have anybody around me to go and get my things for me. So I made a grab bag to go with me to hospital in case police took me to hospital, in case an ambulance took me to hospital, or in case I went to a hospital on my own. Well, on my own. So here are the things that I put it in that bag. Some t-shirts, some leggings, wireless headphones, 10 centimeter phone cable, hairbrush and roll-on deodorant. Now you're probably wondering why the fuck are headphones in this bag? Well, when you're sat in A&E for 48 to 72 hours, you you get very limited on what you can do. I wasn't allowed any cables, so I had to get them to charge my laptop up. Another state of an item that I'd always carry with me is my unicorn. This is my unicorn. He's a bit flat. It's where he's been loved to death. This unicorn comes absolutely fucking everywhere with me. But yeah, I pack these things into a bag. I don't have that bag anymore, but usually in hospitals they try and give you leave as soon as possible. So by having these things in a bag, it means I can, I'm can i okay for a few days. Then hopefully I can go home and get some more belongings. Which is what I tried to do. And the reason I made this bag is because when police turn up at your front door, you're not prepared to go to hospital. So what I did is when they had me outside or in handcuffs, because that happened a lot, I asked them to go inside and grab this specific bag and they could see it, my unicorn. That way they wasn't searching around the room for things, they just got it and bought it. It provided some comfort during hospital admissions. It means I had some stuff around me that was mine, that I, that just made me feel like a person. Honestly, having that bag ready to go was always something that I was really happy with. I wish I'd put a colouring book in there and some pens in there and some pe notebooks and a book to read but you can only fit so much in a bag that it's for emergency use. And honestly, I think I, when I was in and out of hospital making that bag was the best thing I, I did because I was in and out of hospital pretty much every other week. But yeah, that's what I, took to, that's what I had in my packed bag to go to hospital. There was one time, and I'm going to talk about this now, there was one time when I had a mental health assessment in my flat. This was in Lancashire and they detained me under Section 2 and the Mental Capacity Act. And basically, I was told to pack a bag, so I got loads of clothes, shoved them in a bag, grabbed my laptop and laptop charger, grabbed my phone charger, because the hospital in Lancashire that I went to let you have your cables. What's so different up there to down here? I don't know, but yeah. Uh, I didn't have my unicorn at that time. I bought my unicorn during my first year of university. So I didn't have a, a stuffed animal with me, which I regret because it, it does come for you. And I'm not ashamed to say that I take my unicorn everywhere with me. I used to take him to university with me because I got anxious and just squeezing the unicorn helped. But honestly, I don't think it is a perfect packing solution to when you go in hospital. But yeah, that's kind of what I took to hospital with me. When I lived in Lancashire I didn't have many books, whereas now I've got 
three gigantic piles of books and a shelf of books. And books in the kitchen. I have a book problem. Thank you for watching this video. If you're new, subscribe, join the growing family, turn notifications on and give me a thumbs up because it helps me out. Please comment down below a video request or a question and I will answer as soon as I can. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.